And now, Fight Club, it's time for our main event of the evening! These are two of the absolute best. They've both been doing this show, headlining this show for years now, which actually is not a compliment in your comedy <laughs> career, I realize. Two of the absolute best roasters that we have. Very excited to have them here. So Fight Club, I need all the energy you have. Are you ready for this main event? <laughs> Introducing first, he looks like a Keebler elf who fought in Nam. Boris Heiken! <laughs> What's up, Boris? How you feeling? You ready for this fight? Good, this is for my daughter. <laughs> Yo, I know what he's doing! <laughs> Down. We're gonna meet your opponent now. He looks like a Keebler elf who was raped in Catholic school. Bobby Sheehan! What's up, Bobby? You doing this for your kids also? I'm also doing this for Boris's daughter. <laughs> trying to get in real early. She's four months. So. Never too early to start grooming. <laughs> you look too on. young for her. <laughs> By the way, what's this you booking other people that also look like they have cancer? Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm the only one that looks like they have cancer on this show from now on. <laughs> or, <laughs> I don't like being told what to do. Alright. <laughs> Four jokes, tip for tat to start off this main event. Boris, Bobby, which one he wants to go first? Well, Boris is Ukrainian and we all know how they start shit. <laughs> So let's let this Nazi go first. Okay. <laughs> Boris. Nope. Boris is going first. Bobby's going second. Fight Club one more time. Are you ready for this main event? <laughs> Four jokes starting with Boris. This fight starts now. All right. You might know Bobby as the talking pimple in a face wash commercial. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. As, as I said earlier, uh, Boris was born and raised in Ukraine. I consider Ukraine to be part of the West, part of Russia. It's true, yeah. And actually, Boris has a lot in common with Ukraine. Both only get a lot of attention when there's a bunch of Russian men inside of him. <laughs> All right. Smart. Thank you, Cabbage Patch Kid Fucker. <laughs> Bobby has resting on a mission to lose his virginity face. <laughs> yeah, dude, I have to win tonight. <laughs> hey guys, keep it going for the little man from Little Russia, huh? Isn't that cool? <laughs> Boris told me he's insecure about his height, which first of all, that's my thing. And second of all, the only thing that's too small, Boris, is your country's significance. <laughs> Thank you, Ronald McFaggot. Let's <laughs> go! You, you look like Gollum wished for hair and then regretted it. Damn, too bad this next joke is not my precious. Um, <laughs> uh, Boris. <laughs> Boris works in marketing, which is when you trick people to give you money. Now I understand why Zelensky is your hero. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey <laughs> company, huh? <laughs> Thank you, borderly retarded guy on 90s Nickelodeon. Oh. Bobby Sheehan is actually short for Bobby Sheehanded in her restraining order. <laughs> Perfect timing. So, uh, Boris, fun fact, uh, he speaks English and Russian. I think he's a double agent, dude. Double agent is what he calls taking it in the ass and mouth. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for round one in this big event! Normally it's a more geopolitical crowd here at Comedy Fight Club. <laughs> We'll go to our judges. Judge, pick a winner, yeah, but so far after round one, Mark, how do you think this fight's going? Uh, 
this one's guy, this guy's good for them for starting off hot. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, they don't seem to know the geopolitical thing. We gotta. <laughs> so Ukraine is next to Russia. It's next to Russia. It's next to Russia, and you, Russia went into Ukraine. Russia went into Ukraine. Yeah. Okay. There's without the, even asking. Without there, even asking. By the way, thank you for asking me. I'm definitely the one that knows most about the situation. <laughs> Comedy Fight Club is where people get all their news from. <laughs> uh, Boris, I feel like you look like a better looking version of me, and I don't care for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just me, Nate. Well, first of all, I really appreciated the twerking off top. That was amazing. Yes. yes you, uh, honey, you, you put the cake in Boris Kagan. You've got, you've got some cake. The, some cake in the oven. It's, it was beautiful. You got a great ass, honey. And, um, yeah, you know, Bobby, you forgot that the crowd for CFC is stupid. So <laughs> that was your fallback, but um, I'm having fun. I'm having yes. a great time, and I can't wait to see a second round. So. It's not the first time a girl said that to Bobby. Uh, <laughs> she's having a great time. It doesn't matter what happens. I have a great personality. Michael Scott, we'll come over to you, which very funny. The person who brought the most props tonight also said the audience is too stupid tonight. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mike, um, your thoughts after round one? I don't know. It was the first battle where I was kind of offended, you know? Boris was twerking in front of me, and then he went on stage and said, this is for his daughter, man, is you gay or what? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, like, I like Bobby jokes because he called you out. You know, he said he'd take it up in the ass and the mouth. You know, but you got a daughter, so I don't really know. But <laughs> I like the disrespectful shit. And for this round, the part that really got me is when you called him a mixed faggot. You know what I mean? Like, and I didn't know if he was doing McDonald's or the Irish shit because he had the red hair. I, I like the McFaggot shit. I got to give it to Boris Raul. Uh, Michael thinks Boris got it so far for the way too happy meal joke. <laughs> We are going to move on to round two. It's going to be four jokes straight through. We started with Boris last time. We're going to start with Bobby now. Fight Club, what do you say? You ready to continue this main event? <laughs> four jokes straight through. Starting with Bobby, round two starts now. Round two. So Boris mentioned he has a child. She actually just said her first word. It was daddy. Which is ironic, because soon that's what Boris is going to be legally required to call Putin. Uh, <laughs> uh, Boris told me he's a pothead. He loves to light up. Yeah. Lighting up is also what Putin calls firebombing an orphanage. Oh. <laughs> you smart. Uh, Boris uh, used to do improv. Here's my impression of Boris doing improv. Okay, can I get a suggestion from the audience? Can I get a noun? Just a noun, anything. Go ahead. I'm sorry, did I hear a billion dollars for Ukraine again? <laughs> Shut more. up! So we're both short kings, obviously. Yeah, but Boris is actually the tallest man in his family. Because everyone else is buried six feet underground. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Boris, I can. All right. Uh, Bobby's a healthcare recruiter which is what he calls begging Groupon masseuses for a happy ending. <laughs> this, this is good. Yeah. Isn't Bobby adorable? He looks like he got kicked out of the military for childlike wonder. Get out of here! Uh, no, but Bobby's a bit rough around the edges. He's what you call a field ginger. <laughs> One more. <laughs> I know what you're all wondering. Do the curtains match the carpet? And the answer is yes, he shits blood. Fight <laughs> Club, give it up for round two in this main event! Or just Michael Scott, how you feeling after round two? Yeah, I'm gonna keep this short, I got my answer this round. Uh, Boris, you are gay. <laughs> <laughs> called him a field gender, he said he shits blood. That's definitely some gay shit. I, I gotta give round two to Boris. <laughs> Boris has got it after round two. Jess Feeney. Uh, the, the field ginger thing was great. I'm so sorry that it went over this crowd's dumb heads. Because <laughs> they're, they're, all, they're all house gingers. <laughs> yeah. <it's funny. laughs> no, you're, Boris, you, you, your, jokes, your, jokes are, your jokes are fearless. You're fearless. You, you're very bold. Uh, sorry, did I say bold? I meant bald. But, uh, no, but it, it was great. Um, this was a very fun round. Um, that's all I have to say. Okay. Mark Hadley, Big Dog, how you feeling? 
Uh, uh, Boris is keeping it light, which the audience liked, up until you gave them a word jumble, which they didn't understand. <laughs> you did a word jumble, and they're like, I don't know what this is. And, that, and, and, and I, I guess you're not so handsome after all. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to move on to round three. It's going to be four jokes, ten for tats, starting with Boris Fight Club. Are you ready to pick a winner after round three of this round? <laughs> Four jokes started with Boris. Round three right. starts now. Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, you look like Mark Zuckerberg if he invented the beta verse. <laughs> Headshot. Available for a free trial. Uh, keep it going for the reason there's no mail order husbands, guys, huh? <laughs> Boris has a pet hamster. Isn't that cute? A tiny little hairy thing that goes up gay men's ass. Takes care of a hamster. <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? We're catching, we're catching Bobby in the prime of his life. This is the exact year where he goes from looking like a child directly into looking like a sad middle-aged man. <laughs> Damn, dude, that one's just true. <laughs> they all got sad. Uh, speaking of being a middle-aged man, uh, Boris has a vinyl collection. Pretty cool, huh? If you don't know, vinyl records are relics that white people pretend to care about. Just like Ukraine. <laughs> Sensation. Bobby's in pretty good shape. He works out like it might fix his face one day. <laughs> wow, dude! It's like I need to do a facelift, huh? Do you hear a facelift, bro? <laughs> Boris's comedy career is a lot like the Budapest Memorandum of 1994, <laughs> where, where Ukraine decided to give up their nukes in exchange for Western support in the event of a Russian invasion. Nobody cares about it! <laughs> Last year. <laughs> Bobby and I actually have some things in common. He's got red hair, and I've got some red in my beard, and we both got it from his mom's pussy. <laughs> because Boris's grandfather died a traditional Eastern European death. Drunk in a car accident. Yeah, and Boris will never forget his grandfather because you never forget your first. <laughs> Fucked his grandpa. <laughs> Fucked his grandpa. That's the exact tape. <laughs> Give it up for your meeting man! Holy shit, what a treat. We got some Budapest memorandum humor tonight. Oh, wow. I have to read the whole thing in preparation. Yes. <laughs> We're going to go to you guys first fight club overall after all three rounds. Do you think the winner of this fight is Boris Hyken? <laughs> the winner of this fight, Bobby Sheehan. <laughs> How? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the metaphorical audience changing their Facebook profile picture to Ukrainian flag has happened here. <laughs> we'll go to our judges. Big dog Mark Hanley. Who do you think won this we fight? We can agree it was pretty close, right? I, I, I think it was pretty I think it was pretty close. I mean, sure, Boris had better laughs the entire time, but where was Boris yesterday? Was he having uh, dinner with me and, and drinking coffee with me? No, he wasn't. Bobby Sheehan was. <laughs> where was I should have been writing jokes. Where was Boris being, being stupid and handsome with a woman that loves him? Fuck you, Boris. I'm voting for Bobby. <laughs> One vote for Bobby, one for Boris. Yes, Beanie. Um, I don't think it was close. I, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. I, Bobby, you're, 
you're too smart. <laughs> these people, these people, they don't know. They don't fucking know. I will say though, I and this is kind of off topic, but I I, I went to the zoo the other day and I and I met um, a female orangutan and I gotta say, Bobby, your your mom seems nice. So, <laughs> I I don't know why I said that. I just I just I just, I just wanted to sneak in a one last cute joke before before my time is up. But um, Bobby, you're so funny and I I get. I loved all of your jokes, but it's because we're better than everybody else. So it's, but you were great, but I think Boris, um, Boris, you know, yeah. he knew what the people wanted and he gave it to him. So I gotta give it to Boris. That's another vote for Boris Heiken. And by the way, Bobby just does those jokes. This is the only way he can ever look down on anyone. <laughs> Michael Scott. Oh, uh, give it up for these two battlers. Good head on a guy. Good head on a I definitely think it was closer than we want to make it. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna give you the most disrespectful joke of the night, actually, because I worked in a sex clinic and I know about the whole hamster up the ass shit. That's some real shit. You know, animals dying up somebody's ass. Richard Gere, it happened to him and shit. And the person that I saw in the emergency room, I mean the HIPAA laws, I can't tell y'all what his name is, you but they look like Morris. You put a HIPAA up his ass? No, HIPAA. HIPAA laws. That's the name. I, I, I don't know, man. This is why I lost. <laughs> right, right. They don't understand shit. You're right. You're right. So, you know what? On that note, I want to say this, man. First of all, Boris, you look too good. You don't deserve to win all three rounds, all right? You already got this battle, okay? I get this fucking round with Bobby. <laughs> this round goes to Bobby, but overall, winner of the fight, Boris. You gonna make me say uh, that? Two, two. Well, no, no, we, no. Do, we do one vote overall at the end. Oh, um, wait, that's not the end of this battle? It is, it, um, it is, if, uh, this is the end of the battle, but you pick yeah. a winner overall at the end of all three. Okay, I, I give Boris two to one. Two to I one. Bobby this last round. All right, okay. Bobby wins the last round. But overall, three votes for Boris, one for Bobby. Give it up for the winner of this main event, Boris Heikkinen.